Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, it is Friday. And that means it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. This Friday, so I've been working really hard doing the, the batteries on the, on the coach, down at Tranquility Base, sweating in the green box. So I think it's time for me to play a little bit. And it is summer. And what better thing to do in the summer when the wind is blowing than to fly a kite. So this is the Flying High edition of Friday's Finds. I've got several products. And of course, since we're gonna be flying kites, I've got some kites for us to look at. But first, we have a sponsor, a new video. We have a new Friday Find sponsor, and I think that their product is going to work real well with this video. So I'd like to say thanks to Same Top for reaching out and asking if I'd be interested in working with this product. So let's take a look. When they, when they reached out to me, I saw it like, yes, I'm, I'm very interested in that. Because most of what you find in most of these, this is a chest, that's what I'm trying to play. This is a chest strap for your action camera. And I have some, but they're not near this quality. That's a heavy plastic material instead of that lightweight. It's got a padding back here, fully adjustable. So I have the session. See which way is going to work better with the session. That's going to be our best configuration for what I plan on doing. It's got a locking tab. We're locked in. That, that new rubber elastic smell. There we go. So now I can shoot video while I'm working, just like that. Which takes us to our next product. This is not a sponsored product. This, this is actually the, years ago, not years ago, a couple years ago, I got to thinking about aerial footage with a camera and I actually went out and I bought a, I bought a, a drone to shoot aerial footage and then the law changed and, I, and you, you must have a license to use any footage on videos that earn revenue. And then there's the whole fact that you can't fly a drone in any of your national parks and a lot of your public campgrounds like Corps of Engineer, Texas State Parks, it's it's kind of, you gotta plan ahead. And, and, but a bigger issue for me was the fear. I mean, it's a $800, $900 piece of equipment. And if it got broke, yeah, you can buy insurance, but you know, so I had the idea, well, why don't I just tie a camera to a kite because it's often really windy and so I started learning about kites and my previously the only experience I had with kites was little cheap ones that uh, I bought I got as a kid and then the cheap ones I bought for my kids you know because they lose interest and 
So I didn't know a whole lot about kites. And I learned about kites and I found that there's a lot of cool stuff going with kites. And so I bought my first one as an adult, thinking that this would do the job. This is actually a, it doesn't have a frame. It's called a sled kite, a parafoil. And it's just, it's just a bunch of fabric. And we'll have to wait till we get, get some wind. There's, there's not any wind blowing today. But we're, we're going to loft the kites. But this is my sled kite. Now sled kites, parafoil kites like this, they, they typically don't have a, a lot of altitude. They're not high climbing kites. They, they will get up in the air but they're typically going to be a lower angle or more angle to the, on the line. That's what I'm trying to say. But it came with a roll of string, a heavy connector, and a very long tail. Let's see if I can catch, catch some wind and at least inflate it for you. There she flies. The sled kites are very cool. They're, they're great for just, you know, getting up in the air on a, in a windy place like on the beach. Hanging out on the beach watching it fly. They don't have a whole lot of lift. At least this one at this size doesn't have a whole lot of lift. So unless I've just got a little bitty tiny camera, it won't go up in the air. All right, let's, let's go check out the next one. As I was digging into this, it's actually putting a camera on a kite and flying it is not a new thing. That actually, as, as long as there have been cameras, there's been somebody putting them on a kite. It's called KAP, Kite Aerial Photography. I, had, I did not know. I thought it was an original idea that I had. But as I, I delved into kites, I found that there's there, there's a couple of there's a lot of different styles of kites, but what you need to put a camera up in the air is a kite that has got a lot it's got a lot of lift, especially in low wind. You you need something that lifts pretty that goes up pretty high. The line the straighter the up the line goes the the better the shot. Uh, there's just a a lot of nuances. Uh, and there's there's actually two kites that work really well, and only one of those two is actually available, and that's a Delta Wing. So I found, and I reached out to a company uh, on Amazon, that, and said, "Hey, you know, I got, I'm doing this thing, and would would you be willing?" And they said, "Yeah." And so they they sent me a Delta kite, but not just a Delta kite. Check this out. This is from Mints. I've repackaged this, so when it shows up, it, it looks a lot, a lot better. This is a five-foot Delta kite. And it came with a set of tails, as you will see. It does require some assembly. But not too bad. It doesn't go up into the air nearly as fast as the as as the foil parafoil kite because ah, this is the one we need. We need these to go in here. Or so and now we take these this one and that goes into here and 
And now we put these in place. There we go. So now we have the Delta. Now the Delta kites, they fly high. So we need, we need to up our string game. And this is actually a set from Mints. This starts to make kite flying a little more interesting, a little more fun. This is a reel. It actually locks in. And it makes retrieval much simpler. You can see it's for, for right-handed kite flyers. You hold it in your left and you crank it with your right. Once you get it into the air, we can lock it down. All right, so let's let's go put this one. See if we can get this one up. been using it, it, it didn't have a handle it was just a round circle I got my, my American flag kite up there I like that it'll lock down it's very easy to let the line out bring the line in and then we can pull it over here lock it in place very happy with that. So the, the five foot Delta kite, fun to fly for just about any age. Doesn't have enough lift to, to accomplish what I was after. So I went back and did a little more research and I found this one. This is the seven foot levitation Delta by Into the Wind. It's a company located up in Colorado. And in keeping with my kite theme, yes, I have a kite theme. We are red, white, and blue. This is a substantial kite. So we have, I'm really impressed with the quality of this kite because it's it's not glued together. It's pretty much all sewn together. into a pocket. And then this also goes into a pocket. The cross piece. like a lap. Now to manage a kite when you when you start getting into kites of this size you really want to up your your game with your your reel. 
because on a, on a good breezy day, this this will fly in five miles an hour up. You get up into 20, 25 miles an hour wind, it really starts to become scary. All right. There's one other thing that this kite does not come with that I really think it needs, and that is... There we go. Now that's a tail. Tails serve a couple purposes. One is it gives stability so that your kite's not running all over the place. This one did not come with a tail. I found two different tails. One was the, the small, it's actually a 20 foot continuous tail that connects to the wing tips. But what I'm most excited about is this one. This is the Patriotic Kite Tube Tail. It just arrived. So we are going to be testing this one today. And since my original intention, and I may, I may put this up in the air with both tails, but since my original intention with this Kite Odyssey has been to put a camera in the air. We're going to see some aerial footage from the Insta360. So now that's going to hang immediately below. So this is the seven foot. <laughs> There's a bit of difference. Put the take that continuous loop with that red one and cut that in half and put two tails coming off the wing tips. I think that'll stabilize those wings a little more.
our next item is actually another this is a sponsored one the the last kite you saw that was not a sponsored one that was one that i sought out uh that was not sponsored the tails the, those are ones that i i was looking for that were big enough to you know to put that in the air so we kite a vendor on amazon they specialize in kites hence the name we kite they have sent us a setup and you'll notice that that's the same as that so i'm not gonna take that out of the package since i already have one and i love this thing just know that all of these items are found on amazon and of course, as usual on Friday's finds, there'll be a link in the card above and in the description below. That'll take you to that'll take you to the Dude RV's gear recommendation page and the shopping list for Friday's finds. So let's take a look at what We Kite has sent. This video has been many weeks in the making because of the weird weather pattern we're having here in North Texas. Some days, ever since I've moved here, we've had non, every summer it's just every day's wind. This year, <laughs> no wind. So we have assembly instructions. We have a, a tail or two. That's the last thing that goes up. Oh, and they've made it easy. They've identified the cross rods. So that's A2, A1, A2, and A3. And then over here, they make it easy for us to put together. B1, B2, and B3. So we have A's that go together. And we have B's that go together. And I'm betting the B is the span and the A is the spine. This is a 10 foot kite. So I'm six foot two to put this in perspective. Here, let's uh, move you over here because I got I to gotta go way back.
I didn't get to choose the colors. So, it came with at least one tail. I think this is like a 100 foot long tail. I put I put a, a piece of paracord and a carabiner on there so I can wrap that around my belt. That way I don't have to worry about my my big kite and camera this is going uh, going bye bye. Let, let, let's see exactly what the ten foot kite looks like. What I need is some way to, like a, I don't know, some kind of reel that mounts on my chest. Wow! That brings us to the end of this Go Fly Kite edition of Friday's Finds. I really like that, that hollow tube tail. I, 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 just, I really like it. I like all three of these kites, but I really like it. I don't know, it's, it's a tough call. They both fly really well. They both have enough lift to accomplish what I was trying to do with this camera. Very, very interesting hobby. We'll be, you'll be seeing more of these in the future. Feels like I've been reeling in big fish all day. I'd like to give a 
special shout out of thanks to we kite for providing some of this stuff that you saw as i mentioned it's all on amazon so click your your business is most appreciated if you're interested in flying kites there's a whole lot of options out there there's another option that i'm looking for and i think it would be a little more stable a platform but so far i've only found one of those available but we'll see so that you haven't seen the last of my kite fetish <laughs> so, but if you enjoyed flying a kite with me or flying several kites with me click on that thumbs up if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button helps way more than you know if you've already been if you have already been following along we are most grateful thank you so much for your support and for my patrons i'm most grateful for your generosity you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear